The Prusa XL and the enclosure, the Trilab Industrial Delta machine, and the printed solid acquisition. Let's get into it. There you are. Welcome back. I'm back from Rapid TCT. Boy, that was an amazing show to go to. I'm so thankful I had the opportunity to show you all the cool stuff that was there. We did a, an amazing live stream with a bunch of different companies coming up and showing us cool stuff. We had a first look at Array and Element from Mosaic and we filmed a little thing with Stitch. Hopefully you'll see later. We also got to tour a bunch of booths at the show and see a bunch of friends. One of those was Joseph Prusa and his team. Not that long ago, Joseph and company acquired Trilab, a Czech company that makes an industrial Delta machine. It looks really neat. Also, not that long ago, prusaprinters.org became printables.com, which is much better aligned with their mission and their goals. And finally, recently, Prusa and company acquired US-based reseller Printed Solid. You've seen Dave before. He's my friend. He's really excited. Prusa and team are really excited. And Rapid TCT was amazing because the entire Prusa family was there. So I got to talk Excel, Enclosure, Trilab, Printed Solid, and Printables. Let's get into it. It wouldn't be an additive convention without my buddy Joe here talking about new stuff, and I'm actually leaning on the new thing. It's the Enclosure. Yeah, I mean, can you see it, how uh, well built it is, if it can support your weight? Well, on the launch, you actually stood on it. I yes. saw that video. Yes. And part of the video mentioned stackable, which really blew my mind because I have a Prusa print farm, and. I have a bunch of shelves and I thought, well, maybe this would be a better option. Yeah, I think I think it could be a little uh, mini AFS. And, you know, people have like farms of 10 printers. So this is very nice. Well, when I look up close, it looks very sturdy. It looks clean. It looks very uh, Prusa design. Yes, and when you look up close, you can see hundreds of mounting points. So it is made to be hacked. So if you want to do any, any wiring inside, you can just use zip ties. There's a lot of mounting holes, so you can put uh, additional stuff. Oh. And uh, what we are proud about is that the power supply uh, is outside. So right, it well, and the, the LCD, right? Yeah, but the LCD you can do also on the inside. And if you combine that with the lock, uh, a lot of schools and uh, offices, you know, they don't want anyone to mess with the printer, so you can do that too. So when does this launch? Like when, when can people start buying this? Uh, so it should start shipping in a couple of weeks. Uh, some of the upgrades are a little bit uh, delayed based on what, based on the supply chain. But I'm very happy about the fire suppression system. It is actually a Slovak company. They are our neighbors in Europe. Oh, perfect. But it is, as it's a pressure vessel, it's a little bit difficult to ship. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so what we are doing for, for the US customers, they, uh, they will have to buy from printed solid. I think next, I wanna, I wanna move over to the side here. So this is the XL. We saw this at Form Next yeah. for the first time, which was great. And actually I got my pre-order in, Joe. I can't wait. Uh, but now- The here, pressure is on. <laughs> the pressure is on. Now at, now at Rapid though, uh, I'm getting a better chance to kind of see up close. Here's that, that 16 panel bed, which is kind of neat. Well, how has the feedback been on the launch since the XL uh, was, was announced? The, the feedback was stellar. The feedback was stellar. This is actually one of the, one of the pieces we had at Farmnext. Okay. Our more valuable prototypes are in, in testing. Yeah, this is a little like bit this, different. Now it's can... magnetic. Oh my God, Ugh. you just manhandled it. Poor printer. <laughs> It worked. It's just there's these beautiful lights on the inside. I wanted to make sure yeah, people could see it. Yeah, the, good point. But uh, what, what, what is happening now? We are waiting on parts. Okay. And we are we are still targeting the uh, by the end of the year, Q3, uh, Q4. So if, people could actually see this in time for Christmas. Some. Well, part availability for this sort of machine and the other stuff you build. I know. I know it's difficult right now. But what doesn't have difficulty in availability is all the stuff that's been uploaded to printables, which has been the Prusa Printers relaunch, right? Yes. Let's so, go over here and talk about that. Yes. Printables is cool. It's a great relaunch. I, I remember prusaprinters.org and people were sometimes hesitant because they saw Prusa in the name, so they weren't sure if it was only for Prusa 3D printers. And it's funny, the company that owned printables before was local to me. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, I consulted the name with uh, with you. Remember? That's right. I remember that. And then we found out that uh, it's a company in Seattle. <laughs> but yeah, it, I mean, it was totally worth it. The the domain we it, it took us over half a year because it was a print shop which had a domain for right. Years. Well, I mean, it takes a lot of work. Yeah, but I am super happy about the name and. I'm so happy that people people love it and uh, they move the models to us and it motivates the whole team so much. With the problems that Creality Cloud has faced and the, the general consensus that Thingiverse isn't what it used to be, mm. I think having repositories like this where it's under active development and there's actual thought and and uh, a roadmap for features being introduced is great. But as you are talking about the new features, just today we released the uh, improved search. Wait, so wait, you... breaking news. <laughs> yeah, so we have uh, we have the search operators. Uh, you can search by text. Uh, you can uh, use the minus signs. That's good because part of, part of the problem that people have in repositories is being able to find exactly what you're looking for. And with printables now having tens of thousands of models, mm. it's, it's difficult to, to go through a bunch, you know, if you do a simple search. So being able to modify your search and add in search operators yeah. to really yeah. refine it, I would imagine yeah. is really valuable. Yes, also what, it, what is plan is a little bit better sorting when you are, when you are going to the categories. Uh, you will be, uh, it will be sorted by last 30 days or last week. The, the things which has uh, the most makes, which I'm super proud of, uh, <laughs> that that we actually have people posting makes as we have the Prusa meters, and everyone is so happy when they get their rewards. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You know, talking about Prusa meters too, what's great is um, I'm, I'm hosting a contest with Printables where we have some models that people can remix. Part of what was awesome is at Printables, because that's where we're hosting it, winners actually get Prusa meters. Yes. Yes, I think I think it is a little bit uh, nicer for people so they can choose the reward the reward they uh, want instead of just sending filaments or anything. So, so that is very very nice. Yeah, uh, and one more thing, uh, we are preparing a little bit of a celebration because we just a couple of months ago we celebrated ten years of ten years. research. Congratulations. So I think it will be around the time this video gets released. Really? So, okay, get, so stay get, tuned. It'll be announced on all the social yeah. channels, I would imagine. Yeah, get excited. So we've covered the enclosure, we've covered the XL, we talked about printables, but there's, there's actually some more news too because you've been busy acquiring things and not just one company, but two, right? Yes. Let's yeah. go talk to them. All right. Hey, Dave. Joe stopped at his other company, so it's up to you and I to have a chat. I have some questions. Well, first of all, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Prusa Solid. Prusa Solid. We're going to still keep the printed part, but secretly, you know, <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll probably switch to orange at some point. This is really exciting, though, because in the industry, you are already a reseller here in the States, and a very good one at that, honestly. Thank you. Uh, and to have Prusa acquire you, it means that you get to take advantage of what Prusa has to further expand here into the states, right? Absolutely. I mean, the biggest problem that uh, the states uh, faces right now is that schools, government, enterprise type of customers can't buy Prusas because they can't, you know, necessarily send money over to Czech Republic directly, tariffs, imports, purchasing, all those type of issues. And me being, you know, American-based company with an American checking account, they can send me checks and I can actually cash them. And uh, it really helps for Prusa. So the only way that me and Prusa could make this work was, you know, he had to buy the company. So <laughs> there we go. If you're now the official reseller for education and government, now with the acquisition, though, you get to go beyond that. So what, what roadmap are we looking at? So the first roadmap you're going to see is that you're going to see that we're going to start carrying actually original Prusa parts for consumers to order from us. So we'll have their filaments, their parts, so people can get them from the United States a little bit faster, shipping and everything like that. But okay. also, uh, Prusa has already been here uh, with all of their text to get uh, my people trained up on their uh, repair systems and their ticketing systems and everything else like that. Oh. So I will be the American oh. Warranty Repair Center as well as their Out of Warranty Repair Center. So customers that you know have their printers that they don't want to fix themselves, we have a center for that. Uh, we'll be expecting well, well, This is huge though because we're not just talking about 
makers in the garage, we're talking about those government and education customers and being able to have a, a US-based repair facility. Absolutely, and uh, I'll say one of the fun things that this allows to do is that Prusa can still focus on the community 100%. You know, they can still uh, work for the community and deal with all that. And I can still have my community side of things, but I will start to take on the, uh, the burden of the educational corporate enterprise clients and all of the uh, overhead that that entails. I'm really excited to see what the future holds. I think, I think this is a good thing for the community and for the industrial professional sector. I think we're going to see a great benefit in education and government and the next I don't know, the next couple of years are really going to uh, really going to be exciting to watch, man. Oh yeah, one of, the, one of the best parts of this whole thing is that um, I am still printed solid. So I still have a lot of, uh, uh, I, I'm still able to make the shots. I'm still the CEO, which means we're still going to have the Jesse filaments. We're still going to have our enclosures. We're still going to go to support open source projects like the Voron Group. Uh, all of those things, I'm still going to be very independent of the Perusa, even though I'm going to have their products. So everything that we do will not go away. Uh, which is great. We're just that's, adding that's very on top. I think a lot of people would have been upset had that happened. That was a big part of the deal, and me and Joe both agree that that is the right thing to do. So I'm excited that you know I'm still in charge, still my place. Uh, the only difference is at the end of the year, if I have any money left over in a checking account, I, I don't get to keep it. I have to send it to Joe. I think it's a fair price to play. It's a fair price. Here we go. Hey, dude. Congratulations. Hey, Joe. I'm gonna hand you that. Who's this? Hello again. So this is Voita. CEO and co-founder of Trilab. Of Trilab? Yes, our new acquisition, and I will hand the microphone to him. Hey, Jill, nice to meet you. Hey, Boita. Uh, Good to I'm meet Boita. you. Yeah. Hey, man. Yeah, there it is. And I've always wanted to see this machine. I believe I saw this at Form Next, kind of Correct. off in the corner. Correct. But now I, I see it printing, and I, first of all, it's warm. So this is a heated chamber. Exactly. For a Delta machine, I'm typically a Delta machine, I, I have some, and they're fun machines, but I don't imagine them as ever enclosed. So how do you get away with enclosing something that has all the motors and the electronics inside? That's an awesome question, actually. So we've been around with Delta since 2016, where we've been focusing on industrial applications of 3D printing. Uh, since November 221, we're part of Prusa Research now, where we're focusing on the B2B side of 3D printing. So industrial Specifically ba business to exactly, business, okay. Exactly. Coming back to your question, uh, the deltas are actually very easy, suitable for enclosing, since if you look at the other geometries of, of, of 3D printers, you have all the motors inside, you have uh, electronics, you have power supplies. Here we can just enclose all of these components into the upper compartment, we can ventilate that so the motors are nice and cool, electronics is nice and cool, and all that's in the left in the chamber is the print hat and the motion system, so that's it. So we can do pretty oh, much whatever we want with the chamber inside, I mean with the temperature inside, and then that gets us closer to materials like ABS, ASA, polycarbonates. So not only prototyping, but also final parts. What made you go with the Delta style of 3D printer for the industrial applications? Because most of the time, when people think of industrial 3D printing, they think of big, you know, boxy, heated Partition. chambers now, very um, um, XY movements, right? right. Not, not the Delta style. So what made you choose Delta? Originally, what I liked about the Delta, it's there's not so much things that, that would be moving around, right? And if you don't have to move it around, it doesn't break. So the simple <laughs> logic around that. Uh, the nice thing about Deltas is that uh, since the model being printed is not moving at all, your quality goes up. You can get away with less supports. And uh, yeah, so the printhead also is very light and it again brings you uh, the advantage of a uh, really nice surface finish. And you know that if you're the Delta printers, they kind of have this different uh, you know, look and feel to the, to the finish. They it, yeah, it's, yeah. it's do. Really, it's really interesting with the Delta printer and the prints you can make because you get that speed with the, uh, the, le the head doesn't weigh as much and so you can exactly. throw it around, so you don't have You don't have to accelerate, mass, accelerate that much yeah. mass, yeah. So now, okay, this is interesting because you have, this looks like a complete package, something yeah. that can, a business can buy. Exactly. They can easily run prototypes or in whatever materials. This isn't meant for batch manufacturing, this is meant to, to qualify models, I would imagine, in materials, is that right? Or is this that's, end use parts? That's one of, the, one of the areas, but since this is uh, A, closed, but also it's actively heated, so we actually pump heat into the models and into the air being printed 
wanted. Uh, we actually focus also on the industries that would require end parts as, uh, as the things that are being printed. We're actually a nice example of that. So a lot of parts inside the chamber in order to withstand the temperature and the stress on the components are made of polycarbonate, which is a really resilient and really tough material, mm -hmm. but also not easy to print without an uh, actively heated chamber. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay, so it's, it's not mass manufacturing then use parts. It's very specific parts in the materials that you can. That it's medium like. volume manufacturing. Oh, medium. The really medium? I like that. That's word. So it's not small. It's not large. With small in my mind. Small is like tens of parts. A medium would be hundreds, and then you go injection molding or other technology. Now, though, with the Prusa acquisition, so this, I would imagine, this is your offering. So, what does that acquisition allow you as a company to do that you couldn't do before? Uh, basically, the access to all the structures, all the processes of a much larger company, uh, but still keeping a very nice uh, relationship uh, with the with the with the mother company at the moment. So, oh, like the the ability to do more faster, exactly. properly. Yeah. And okay. So uh, obviously, it was also the financial part of the investment. So we can now hire more people. We moved to a new facility recently, where we are we, where we are in a new factory right now. Uh, we're ramping up production, we're setting up processes. Those stuff which would otherwise take months and years to develop, we can now basically take over from Joe's company. Okay, uh, last question here. Uh, what does the next, say, 12 months look like for TriLab? Right. What's so, on your roadmap? Uh, the roadmap, as I mentioned, is hiring more people, ramping up production, setting up all these processes that would allow us to grow uh, in the way we intend to grow. Uh, with the Aztec, it's getting into more advanced materials, so even more advanced than, than polycarbonate. Are we looking at like the 500C range with Peak and You're Peck getting and close. Ultim and You're getting close. So that's on the roadmap until the end of the year. I can also, I can also slightly say, okay, uh, there might be a larger version of the Aztec as well, so for industries where this is not enough, so this is it's 13 inches. It's already decent size, I'm going to be honest with you. This is 13 inches by 16 inches in height, so we are looking at a even slighter, slightly larger Aztec, so yeah, that's roughly the next 12 months. That's awesome. Was Great a pleasure. to meet you. Yeah. Congratulations. Enjoy and the I show. I guess enjoy the rest of the show, man. Yeah. Thank you so much. Really amazing, right? Just great to see such wonderful things happening in the additive manufacturing space. As far as the XL goes, I do have my pre-order in, and as soon as it comes in, I'll be sure to let you know. The enclosure looks really cool. That TriLab machine with that heated chamber, fantastic to see. I can't wait to see more people using that machine. And of course, Dave over at Printed Solid, I believe I owe him a congratulatory first round. If you made this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in. See you at the next Rapid. And as always, high five.